Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jebber Tactical here. We're sitting back down on the Freedom Bench. So, I'm Jerry. I'm your host. This is my channel. So what do we got today? So today we are going to unveil the 6.5 Creedmoor barrel that I purchased from Ballistic Advantage. 22 inch fluted barrel stainless steel can't wait to show you I'm excited I haven't even opened this yet I wanted to wait to do the reveal um, with you guys so we all get to see it together uh, we're gonna run uh, we're gonna take a look at it we're gonna do a tabletop review so uh, and I'm also going to run the bore scope through it. Uh, we're going to check out the inside of the bore, inside of the barrel, see what it looks like, and um, go over it and give you my thoughts, and uh, we'll take it from there. So hang in there. We're going to change camera angles, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, everybody. Welcome back. So here it is. Let's open this bad boy up and uh, let's take a look. So, here it is, 6.5 Creedmoor, 1 and 8 twist. This is uh, made out of uh, 416R stainless steel, and it is uh, MP tested, or I'm sorry, uh, the barrel itself is it's proof fired and it's MPI tested, you know, and that way, um, ballistic advantage uh, ensures the best uh, quality and accuracy out of their barrels. So um, obviously, this is a 22 inch barrel, okay, and um, it's in the bead blast finish, okay. So, the gas journal itself, this is a 0.936 gas journal, okay, and this barrel is extremely heavy duty. So, the total weight on this barrel is 75.9 ounces, and it is threaded in the standard uh, uh, 5 8 24 thread pitch okay give you a nice look at the crown there we'll flip this back over and then the one thing I really like about uh, their premium series barrels is all of this is uh, finished with nickel boron. Nice polished up feed ramps. Hopefully you can, hopefully that's focusing. Pretty sure it is. I'll bring my finger up here just in case. So that is the barrel itself. Pretty, pretty nice looking barrel. I mean it's it feels heavy um, so let's just throw it on the scale here let's get this stuff out of the way you're gonna put the thread protector back on let's get this stuff out of the way let's see if my little scale will pick 
up the weight of this. Let that thing zero out. So, 4.21 ounces. I'm going to say that's probably not going to be correct, but let's let's set it up this way and see what we get. Do, 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 do. Let's try it again. Set it in the center of the scale this time. All right. So we're going to say four point four pounds two ounces. So the scale says. And uh, get this back out of the way. So that's the barrel that I'm going to be using for this build. Uh, she's a beauty. So. Um, Give me a second here. We're going to prep it for uh, taking a look down the bore itself. And uh, we'll see what she looks like. All right, guys, let's take a look here. I'll try to do this without too much pain and suffering here. It's not as easy as. It's not that easy to do with these little cameras, so um, I just want to give you a a look on the inside of this barrel. Okay, so back here was the uh, feed, obviously the feed ramps. Okay, and here's the actual chamber. Okay, and then there's the start of the lens, and I'm just going to rotate this. So you can see. Now this barrel has been test fired, proofed, proof fired by ballistic advantage. Okay, so it's supposed to look, it's supposed to look like this. Okay, uh, I have not cleaned it. All right, so now we're just going to run this camera down and just give you a look. I'll try to take it reasonably slow and not go too fast, and just kind of spin the camera every once in a while. Um, in the barrel here to show you as we move on down because I want to try to show you the gas port there we go Alright, so there is the gas port. You can see me waving at you there. Hey, how you doing? Okay. So everything that looks like, you know, fouling, you know, or whatnot, that is fouling, but that is not rust. That is the copper. Okay, that is copper. So this barrel looks exactly like it's supposed to on the inside. I see nothing odd. I'm going to push the camera down faster here. Just give you a quick look as we get down to the crown. And this is the test long bore, uh, bore scope bore camera that I picked up off of Amazon. Fantastic freaking camera. Alright, so I'm going to rotate. Whoop. I'm going to rotate this barrel and just show you the entire crown okay so there's the, the crown all right so now we're just gonna pull back out of the barrel here I'm gonna twist the rotate the camera as we go and if I see anything weird uh, I'll stop and look at it but like I said, this barrel has not been cleaned or touched on the inside since it left ballistic advantage. It is supposed to look just the way it does. And we 
we should be coming back almost to the end here. Yep, and here comes the end of the, the beginning of the lands of the barrel. Okay, there's the chamber, and that's coming back out, and here's the, um, the uh, feed ramps there. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer view. you. Some of the detail on how well this camera actually focuses. Yeah, there's the feed ramps. Oops, well, I'm trying anyway. Well, anyway, that's a quick look at it from the inside. Alright guys, I just gave this a, a quick a quick cleaning, uh, so we're just going to take a quick look back inside this barrel now, so we'll show you the beginning of the lands here. barrel back up to the top so the gas ports at the top and we're just going to run this down and I'm just going to show you, you know, like I said there's going to be some some copper fouling in this there's the gas port right there and you can see there is copper in there okay and I will do a copper strip. I'm going to strip the copper out of this and uh, give it a really, really good thorough cleaning uh, before taking it to the range. And uh, let's run this, just run this down. I just ran a couple of patches with some uh, Hoppies number nine through this. Um, now I'm just going to show you the crown again, and you can see there's copper on those lands, which there should be. And we'll bring the barrel back up to top dead center, or the 12 o'clock position with the gas port. And we're going to just pull her back out. Show you what she looks like. Alright, coming out to the end here. There's the chamber. Here comes the feed ramps right there, and we'll stop it right here. So we're going to change the camera angles, and I'll be right back. So hold on. All right, guys, just a quick wrap up. So that's the, this is the barrel. Um, I gave you a look on the inside of the barrel. I did, like I said, a quick cleaning of it. Uh, I will strip this barrel completely, the copper completely out of this barrel, and um, get it prepped and ready uh, before mounting it and putting it all together. So just uh, real quick, just wanted to go over. So we're going with the superlative arms uh, .936 uh, set screw stainless steel in the matte finish for the gas block the slr dimpling jig okay for the 0.936 gas journal okay and then i just decided i'm gonna stick with the uh melanite uh, rifle length gas tube uh for i was gonna go stainless steel but i'm gonna go black uh with it so anyway guys that's it just wanted to show you the barrel, and uh, now I can actually put this to put this together. Uh,
complete the build. Um, and once I'm all done with that, I will show you the final outcome. Um, oh, one other thing. So the, the, the barrel itself, uh, it weight wise, four pounds, like seven and a half ounces is the total weight of this barrel. So now just barrel alone and the uh, lower receiver, the way it was in the configuration in the, in the second video, uh, we're sitting at almost nine pounds. So like I said, when I said 11 pounds, it's gonna be 11 plus pounds will be the weight of this rifle. It, it, for sure over 11 pounds uh, but anyway guys that's all I got for you so uh, hope you enjoyed this quick look at the of, of my ballistic advantage 6.5 Creed Mayor Creed Mayor Creed more barrel uh, smash that thumbs up like uh, smash that thumbs up button show me some likes I truly appreciate that you guys uh, if this is your first time here, please sub consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, thank you to all the guys that do subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate it. Uh, this build is going along splendidly. Uh, I can't wait to complete it. Uh, it is now f uh, February 15th. And um, hopefully I'll be able to get this uh, rifle out to the range somewhere around the end of February, beginning of March. Uh, so, guys, have yourself a great evening. Like I always tell you, this is Jerry Bear Tactical, and I hope to see you out there on that firing line. Later.